Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a new Animal Crossing update tips and tricks video. So since 2.0 was released, as well as Happy Home Paradise, there's been a lot of new features added to the game. So I thought I would show you guys some tips and also some things that I've noticed. So I also have some other videos about Animal Crossing New Horizons on my channel. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. But let's get started with the tips. So one of my favorite things from the update is Harv's Island and how we can add lots of new shops. So one of these shops includes Reese and Cyrus, who are some of my favorite special characters. But the best thing about this is that they can actually customize your items now. So you can change all your Nook Mile items colors. So for example, if you wanted all the pastel ones, you can now change them. So this was perfect for me as the colors that I got were all the darker colors and I have a more like pastel themed island. So you'd pay in bells to change the colors and it's actually not too expensive, which is great. Along with the Nook Miles items, you can also change the regular items from Nook's Cranny, which is amazing. So what you could do is buy multiple of one item and then change the colors. This catalogs them and then you can actually buy that item from your Nook phone. So this is super useful as now you can just use Reese and Cyrus to find all the extra variants of items rather than waiting to find a trade for the particular version that you want. So I was able to get all the versions of the Dreamy Shelves and the Plushies by doing this. Also for some items, they don't just change the color, they can also change the design. So for example, the doll set, you can actually change the outfits and also for the sign, you can change it to different menus and there's even a sign that says free. So this would be super helpful if you were having people coming over to your island and you had lots of spare DIYs that you wanted to get rid of and they can just pick them all up for free once they see that sign. So make sure to unlock Tortima soon after Reese and Cyrus so you can access your home storage on Harv's Island. This will allow you to select the items to customize easily rather than having to carry them back and forth via the plane in your pockets. On Harv's Island, Leaf also has some crops available for sale, for example, pumpkins or potatoes. And I also noticed that if a special character is visiting your island, it looks like they won't be on Harv's Island for that day. For example, Leaf was in my town square and when I went to Harv's Island, his camper van was empty. So before the update, if you visited villagers who are in their houses, they used to be able to give you DIY recipes, but now you can see them actually holding a frying pan and they'll give you cooking recipes instead. So you can also unlock more recipes by catching fish, even if you've caught them before. For example, this Aji Fry recipe I unlocked after I caught the fish. So the update also included island tours with Cap'n, which cost a thousand Nook Miles each. You can only go on these once a day, but if you don't want to wait to find glowing moss or vines on a Nook Mile Island, you can also pick them up from the Happy Home Paradise Island. So on the islands, don't forget to dig up what looks like fossils. They're actually gyroids or gyroid fragments. Once you bury them on your own island and water them, a full gyroid can be dug up later. So the gyroids don't actually show growth except for the smoke, so don't forget to dig them up. They should be ready a day after you've planted them. Also, when you're going on Cap'n's boat, you could do this in previous games, but if you want to skip Cap'n's song, you can press B repeatedly. He can be a bit sassy with his replies, which are super funny. So don't forget to check your Nook phone shop every day as there are new special items. For example, there's actually a car, trucks and boats now, and I even had a volcano show up in the shop one day. Also, you can now put your DIYs in storage. So this is super useful for doubles that you want to save later for trading. So now onto some things I noticed. So in handheld camera mode, you can view the items in much closer detail. So I've had a lot of fun exploring all the little details. For example, at the roost, there's lots of photos and posters on the wall that you can see really clearly. And if you look closely, you can even see some gyros in the back of the cafe. I also noticed that Nook's Cranny can now also sell food. So you can actually display this food or you can eat it. Also, the items in the Paradise Planning Office change each day, so make sure to check there as well. Also on Harv's Island, you can invite Red to open up a shop there, and he has a little lottery system. So I've tried this out a few times, and I've gotten ice cream, soda cans, donuts, and fans. You can also carry these items around, which I think looks super cute. So make sure to let me know in the comments what type of Nook Mile Islands you've found so far. I've managed to get a few normal island, as well as a summer island, which had the summer shells and a summer shell DIY. And then I also got a glowing moss and vines island where all the rocks had bells if you hit them. So that is everything for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the update and happy home paradise. If you guys want to check out more Animal Crossing videos, I'll leave my playlist in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!